Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mask key skill video on finding the volume of a frostum of a cone. Now what do I mean by the frostum of a cone? I just mean a I cone just... with a cone at the top chopped off. So you're just left with this 3D solid here. And the strategy for finding the volume of a frostum of a cone is to start with the volume of the whole cone, including this imaginary bit at the top, and then just chopping off and subtracting the volume of the cone at the top. So let's do that with this first example. The volume of the whole cone, the big one. Now, do you remember that the volume of a cone is a third times pi r squared times h. So we use the lengths here. We've got a third times pi times the radius squared. What's the radius of the big cone? Well, it's 12. So it's 12 squared. And what's the height of the big cone? Well, it's 10. And then if we put that in our calculator, it will simplify it for us. So we get 480 pi. We can leave it like that for the moment. We can always put it as a decimal at the end. And then what's the volume of this top cone that we're chopping off to leave the frostum at the bottom? Well, we do the same again, a third times pi times r squared, so the radius squared, 6 squared, times by the height, which is 5. And if we again simplify that, we get 60 pi. So therefore, the volume of the frustum of the cone is just the difference between the two. We start with a big cone, 480 pi, and we subtract the cone at the top. And that's going to leave 420 pi. And you could give that as a decimal if you want. Um, we do need to give the unit for this so it's centimetres cubed. Now the second one is harder because we're not given the radius of this top cone. And to do that, we just have to use the idea of sort of similar shapes. If we compare the top cone to the big cone, the height of the top cone is two. The height of the big cone is 6. So you can see all the lengths in the cone from the small one to the big one are becoming three times as big. So that means the radius will also become three times as big and that means this radius here is going to be 3. So we can do exactly what we did before. The volume of the whole cone is equal to a third times pi times the radius squared, so 9 squared, times by the height, which is 6. And if we simplify that, we get 162 pi. And then the volume of the top cone, this sort of imaginary cone that's not actually there, a third times pi times uh, the radius squared, so 3 squared, times by the height, which is 2. And again, if we simplify that on our calculator, is 6 pi. And then you just subtract them. So the volume of the frustum is equal to 162 pi minus 6 pi. And that is equal to 156 pi. And if you want a unit, because there's no unit here, we could put units cubed, but that's optional.